Hi guys, it's Crystal, and I'm going to show you guys how I make foundation samples today. Um, it's really not as hard as it seems. You're going to need some, a couple of like basic things like foundation, and I buy, obviously we have the palettes. I have every color um, so that I can sample the foundations out, but I can give you guys a list of the most common colors if you want to build a palette to start with, just let me know. And these are the things that you need, and I'm going to include... Um, I'm going to make a document with a list of where to purchase these things for the best prices if you guys need to get them. So I have the little lacoon containers. There are a couple of different types of containers that you can use. I just like these because I can use them for multiple things. So I buy them like a hundred or something at a time and yeah, that's what I put it in. Um, the little wedge sponges. I bought this big bag on Amazon and I can put a link to that, um, or you can buy ours, which you get like eight of them for three dollars or two dollars and something is what it costs you in the back office, so you can use ours if you'd like. Um, I have this little how to use your foundation sample card, and I have these made up on a, a printable sheet. There's like eight of them on the sheet, and I will upload this to our team files so that way you can look it up and print it and it just has the basic instructions when, to tell your customers how to use this little foundation. Um, a little Ziploc baggie to put it all in and these Avery multi-use one inch round labels that I write the foundation color and the one that I'm doing right now is olive two because I have several olive twos that I need to get done so there are there's 12 stickers on each sheet, and they're perfect. The perfect size to fit on this um, this little lacoon right here. Now, in order to get the foundation out properly, you can use. It comes in this set like this on Amazon, and I will put a link to this as well. You can use this little scraper tool right here, which is like the professional one, which I actually really like. This this thing was only like six dollars for this set, and I use it for lots of things. Or you can take these little scrapers that you got in your starter kit, and you can use one of those. I like this though because it's easy to clean, it's easy to wipe off. If I'm doing multiple things, I can just have a tissue beside of me to do to change colors and I just wipe it off and move on to my next color. So those are the basic things that you need. Now you're gonna want to just take your foundation, and this is my olive tube right here. And since most of you guys don't have this tool, I'm gonna use this and show you guys how to do it. You don't want to dig into it. You want to take your your scraper and you want to scrape straight across it like this. I know that a lot of people do this differently, but this is how I found kind of does it evenly. So, and then you can kind of go around the edge and you're going to get some buildup on your, your little spatula thing. Now you don't want to give them too, too much, but you also want to make sure that you give them enough that they can use it a couple of times as well. So that's about maybe three uses right there on the end of that spatula. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to take my little lacoon, and I just scrape it off on there, just like that, and it snaps closed. I take one of my stickers here with the olive two on it, I stick it right on top of there, I get one of my papers that says how to use this, and a sponge, and my little baggie. And if I send more than one color a foundation, um, so say I'm sending them like colors so they can try to color match themselves, I send a sponge for every single color because that way they're not mixing the sponges up and things like that. So that's how it looks right there. You could also take it up a level and you could pop your business card in here with it. Um, I'm a fan of including my business card and everything, so. There you go. And that is how I make foundation samples.